Hi there, this is Anoop. Today we are going to talk about Microsoft Defender Network Protection. How to enable Microsoft Defender Network Protection using Intune. We have seen several videos about Microsoft Defender integration with Intune, onboarding Intune managed devices into Microsoft Defender using Intune policies, etc. So, in this video, we will see Microsoft Defender Network Protection policies, CSPs related to that, CSP configurations. So, don't skip it. Let's go ahead and check this out. So, let's quickly check how to configure defender network protection policy on a windows device you can use intune antivirus template to configure and deploy microsoft defender network protection policy so we will see all these details in this video let's go to the next slide so this is a basic slide about network security policies and cis benchmark etc we have talked about it in the previous videos if you want to if you want to learn more about this click on the i button in youtube over here let's go to the next slide so this is the main slide for microsoft defender network protection policy how to create it for example in intune there's a default template available if you go to endpoint security node in intune portal and then go to antivirus from there you can create a new policy all these steps are explained in the demo later so don't miss that so once you create the policy and deploy it to the devices how you can check that out from end user device from the client side if you go to the client side over here you can use powershell command to check this out you can use the command led called mp preference and select enable network protection as you can see over here then you will get a result back enable network protection the value is one that means enabled and and from intune reports you would be able to see similar reports like this you would be able to see status of each individual policy settings from from this report if you click on this device so we will see that also in the demo now let's go to the demo and check this out let's enable network protection from a defender perspective so you can use intune template to do this and these are the prerequisites for that csp this is the csp details and you can see what will happen if you block users and applications won't be able to access dangerous domains what will happen if if it is set to audit mode users and application can connect to dangerous domains however the feature would have blocked access if set to block so we are going to try with block one let's check the values also over here if it is allowed there are two values one is enabled block mode and enabled audit mode the value is two then it is audit mode and if it is one then it is block mode now head over to intune portal in intune portal head over to endpoints security and antivirus create a new policy from here is select the platform as windows 11 and profile as defender antivirus and click on create button i have given the name enable ms defender network protection blog mode and i have given the description also now click on the next button over here expand this and search for network protection so search for network protection and you would be able to see this one so by default as you can see it will be like this then you need to click on this drop down option to list down all these policies and then you can go to enable network protection option over here hover over i button you would be able to see all these details which we have seen in the csp in the different website click on here to get the drop down options there are four options disable enabled block mode enabled audit mode and not configured not configured and disabled are same i'm going to go with enabled one over here i'm not going to configure any other policies over here not going to configure this for now that was basically for server 2012 and 2016 kind of devices click on next and click on next again over here i'm going to assign one of the device hdmd test group i have selected and click on select and then you can see over here one device click on next and create the policy got created now let's check the cloud pc over here 
so we have deployed the network protection policy to this particular device and you can see the network protection is enabled and the value is 1 that means enabled and it is blocked and then if you go back to Intune portal over here you can see it is succeeded on one of the device and you can see the details over here if you click on that you can see enable network protection the status is succeeded that's good now that you have seen all the details about Microsoft Defender network protection how to enable that is there any confusing part in the options block enable audit enable something like that all these details we have already seen and we have seen the results also on Windows 365 cloud PC hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around Thank you.